I think the most important thing when you write is the voice. The voice, the voice, the voice. The voice of the main character. I try to make my character's voice realistic. And I do that by being a careful listener. I was recently with Bobby Ann Mason, who is a novelist. We were together in the South, and we ended up at a, a writing festival together. And we drove together in a car to Memphis. And during that time, we started talking about writing and about voice. And then we started talking about listening. And I said that I had the terrible habit of imitating unconsciously someone's accent if I was around them too long. And that it could even be sort of embarrassing because I started imitating and my kids can't stand it. So if we go to a restaurant and the waiter is, has an accent, I start unconsciously when I'm ordering somewhat mimicking the person's cadence, word choice. I told Bobby that, Bobby Ann, and I said, it's just a terrible thing I do. And she said, what are you kidding me? That's, you're a writer. You're listening to them speaking. And she said, many good writers can imitate people. They're mimics. They're listening to the world. So she took something that I considered a negative and she has turned it for me into a positive because now I'm not so hard on myself that I do that all the time. Um, it's my ear, I guess. I'm hearing them. I get my inspiration from the world around me, from the people I meet, from the places I go. I don't write about vampires and I don't write um, about mermaids because I've never met a vampire or a mermaid. I, I've met some people that love the ocean and some people that love to live at night. But I write contemporary realistic fiction, and there are people that I've met, people that I would love to know, and people I make up in my head. And I try to give them a voice, an authentic voice. Mm -hmm.